come on to the house, let's go out and have some fun. Want to go out right now, tell you how it's done. We can go out and have a burger tank. I'll tell you all about it, I bad in mind. Yo, how's it going? It's Cannibal Shogun. By popular demand, bringing you some Trials HD map making tutorials. I'm going to start out with some real basic stuff, uh, just so we're all on the same page about how the editor works. So first thing we're going to start with uh, is just moving this cursor around. See the cursor here? The right analog moves the cursor. Left analog actually moves your camera when we're in this camera mode. In advanced mode, you have two different options with your camera. First is this one where uh, the right analog will move you up and down as well as move the cursor and then left and right and then the left analog will move the camera further away, closer or again left to right. And then you can hit L3 and that will switch you into the other camera mode where your camera stays stationary so looking up and down with the uh, right analog will actually tilt tilt the camera up, tilt the camera down. Looking left to right will pan the camera left to right. And then with the left analog, you can actually you can still move the camera uh, forward and backward, and it will move just straight towards wherever it's pointing. So wherever you're pointing, that's where it's going to go when you're moving forward, backward, and then you can still move left to right. Um, once you're in this camera mode and you have your camera all on crazy angles, you can hit the uh, RB button and that'll pop you back to the starting camera angle. I'm going to hit L3 here again to put me back into the simpler camera mode. Next thing you need to know is accessing the menu. So this accessing the menu is going to be up on the D-pad, brings up the menu here. Um, left to right will scroll through your categories, up and down will scroll through the items in the categories, um, and that is the menu basically. You pick your object from here, you select it with the A button, and now you can place it in the environment. So let's start out where I'm going to place a ramp instead of that big plate I just threw down there so you can see a little more what we're working with here. We got a wooden ramp that I just put in the environment here. I still got a hold of it. I can move it around. Right analog moves you up, down, left, right. Left analog moves you away, towards, left, right. So you'll notice that it, there are these three circles uh, surrounding it, kind of uh, semi-transparent, and one of them is highlighted. These are the axis that uh, your object can rotate on. So right now we have the red one selected. Sometimes it's kind of hard uh, to tell which one is selected. So you change your selection on that axis uh, with the uh, RB button. So as I hit the RB button, you can see the different circle highlighting and that represents a different axis that we can rotate on. So right now I'm on the blue axis here. I'm gonna rotate clockwise, counterclockwise, It'll rotate whatever direction this circle is that's uh, surrounding it. So once you have an item rotated, if you want to reset it, you can hit uh, R3. We'll bring it back to the driving line, and then R3 again will reset it to its starting position. And then another real useful tool when it comes to rotating is the LB button. LB will rotate it on... Uh, 90 degrees on whatever axis you're using. So we're on the red right here. I'm going to go ahead and hit LB and it rotates at 90 degrees. Hit it again, another 90 degrees. Hit it again, another 90 degrees. One more time and we're back exactly where we started. This comes in really handy when you need things to line up properly. When you have an object here, once you put it where you want to put it, go ahead and hit A and it's placed. Thrown down. Boosh. There it is. If you want to put in another ramp, say um, this exact same ramp where you're just going to land on the other side, you can select this again, hit Y, and it just copies it. Same ramp. Now I'm going to hit L uh, LB two times and rotate it so that it's pointing the opposite direction. Throw that down. Uh, now I've got a ramp to land on. This also comes in really handy when you're trying to make something uniform. Um, say... 
just for shits and giggles, I'm throwing down an I-beam here and I want to make some sort of like bridge. So I had throw down an I-beam and I throw down another I-beam and those are going to be like the, the base, the base of my bridge there. I should probably put these on the driving line a little bit better. So we'll line it up using this ramp, put them down on the ground. And there we go. Those are going to be the legs to my base. So I'll go get a base and I'll throw that down. And now I want two more legs on the other side. So uh, I can use these same two. I'm going to just grab this one. And now I can grab both of them at the same time by holding the LB button once the first one is selected. And that will bring up my little plus there. And the, so the plus, I can select any other object, and then I'll have them both selected. Now when I hit Y, it's going to copy both of them. Just move them to the left here. And now I got the other side of my base. So that's a really good uh, use for copying things. Um, and also, there's no real way to snap to lines or anything like that besides just snapping back to the starting line or the driving line and then the starting position um, so if you want things like this to line up you know you want these first legs to line up with the second legs um, as long as you're careful with your stick movement when you copy and you only go left they're gonna stay lined up alright so now we got a few objects placed here we have options uh, for each of these objects can do a few different things so when you select an object you hit up and that brings up the object menu now you can see in here this particular object um, doesn't have a whole lot of options we can turn physics on for it um, or turn them off or we can lock it to the driving line or we can glue it to another object um, I'm gonna start by turning the physics on and then that's it I'm gonna bring this out of here when you have when you want to test your physics in the editor you can hit the back button at any time and anything with physics activated will uh, go into physics mode. You kind of saw that ramp lifted up a little bit because it was intersected with some of these I-beams. Um, just another example, a more clear example, we'll throw a barrel in here. Um, I put this barrel up in the sky and I just place it by default. Physics are not activated so when I hit physics it's just going to sit there. Um, but if I select it again, hit up, turn physics on, place it again, it, you can see it turned red a little bit to signify that physics are activated. You can see that on this plate as well. Now when I test the physics, it's going to fall there out of the sky. Um, and that's basic physics use. So now we'll talk about gluing objects. Um, I can take this barrel and I can glue it to, say, this ramp. This ramp does not have physics activated. So when I test physics here, that barrel is just going to hang there because this is a hard connection uh, between this ramp and this barrel. Now the other thing about gluing objects, once you glue objects together, uh, if I select one, I'm going to select both, both objects. So if I want to select just one, say I want to unglue these objects, I need to select just one of them. So I'm going to select just this barrel again by holding the LB button again. You'll see that little plus symbol comes up by your cursor. And now when I select this barrel, bam, just the barrel gets selected. I can bring the menu back up. I can go back into glue objects and I can select this ramp again to uh, unglue it. And now my barrel is free again. And when it falls, it falls. Everybody's happy. All right, so that is basic editing, physics, multi-selecting. Uh, I hope I covered everything that you will need to know to follow what I'm talking about in future tutorials. Uh, next up, I am going to do a couple of tutorials covering the tools palette, um, which is your triggers, your hinges, and your camera. Um, and then after that, I will probably do a tutorial that covers lights. So uh, I hope you guys have some fun making maps. Hit me up, I want to play them. I want you to go out ride with me and have a good time today, friend. Weep, woop, woop, weep, woop, woop, woop. Bum, beep, bum, bum, beep, bum, bum, bum.